Hey everyone, so I am Mr. Corpus. I'm one of the band directors at Paredes Middle School, and today I'm going to be going over the oboe. So this is just going to be a brief introduction for people who are interested in the oboe. It'll give you somewhat of an idea of what it is, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to get my pointer here ready, just in case. First thing that I want you to know, and I apologize for the pixelated picture here, but I think it gives you the good, it gives you an idea. It is part of the woodwind family. So woodwind family consists, the woodwind family consists of the piccolo, the flute, the clarinet, the oboe itself, the bassoon, the saxophone, recorder possibly. Um, so yeah, so this is the woodwind families, and there are other families as well. There's the brass family, which is, you know, trumpet, French horn, trombone, euphonium, uh, and tuba, and there's also the percussion family as well. Mm -hmm. So what do you need to, how do you make a sound on the oboe? So one, you need a reed. So this is the reed and also the mouthpiece of this particular instrument. So uh, it is part of the double reed family, which means that it has, this reed has two reeds put together as one, uh, which is why it's called the double reed, okay? So um, that's one thing that you're going to need. You're going to need a reed that looks exactly like this. We have them at school as well. Let's go ahead and move on to the next slide. Now, a closer look at the oboe reed. As you can see, you see this one facing of the reed and then the other facings on the bottom. So you can see the opening just like that. You want to be very careful. Now, as you can see, I put very thin. This, the reason why I put this here is because you don't want to destroy this. You don't want to touch this at all. Don't be afraid of it, but just be aware of it, of I need to keep this protected. I cannot let my shirt drag against it or someone bump into it or anything like that because as soon as that breaks, that's it. You're not going to be able to make a sound, okay? Now, also, you need to use your lips and you need a very good airstream, okay? So here is a picture of the embouchure. Embouchure is a French word which means how a musician structures their lips to create the sound, okay? In this case, you have this particular structure of the embouchure, okay? So when you play oboe, you don't want a smiley. You don't want a super tight and smiley embouchure. You want more of a forward, like fancy lips in the front. Like that okay uh, as you can see the reed goes in slightly there so like that the reed vibrates here if there's no vibration from the tip of the reed you're not going to get the sound okay so remember that the reed needs to vibrate in order to make a nice beautiful sound and you need air lots of air we make sure that we breathe in through our mouth and not through our nose so breathe in through your mouth and then you push the air out immediately from the bottom. So we wanna make sure that we're breathing all the way down to the bottom where our belly button is, getting nice and fat with air and pushing the air forward, okay? Using our diaphragm to push that air out. Now here's just a brief history about the elbow, okay? Let's take a look. The elbow started life in the Middle Ages as a shawm, a very old instrument, and it developed from the shawm into the first oboe in the Baroque times around 1680, 1690 and was used extensively by Baroque composers such as Handel and Bach and the Baroque oboe was made of a different kind of wood to the modern oboe, it was made of boxwood and it only had two keys at the bottom of the oboe, a C key and an E flat key and the rest were just holes but it had the double reed and it made a... So yeah, so um just so you all know the baroque oboe is how it all started so uh, as you can as you heard it just had two keys and the rest were holes like a recorder which you're used to so it's something a little bit more traditional and then it developed into this particular instrument that you see here oops uh, now some professional performances of the oboe here's one with the baroque oboe
that was a very nice performance. As you can see, everything is Baroque there, including the bows <laughs> so that they're using here. But yeah, it's a beautiful sound that this Baroque, that this particular Baroque oboe uses, or has, I guess I, sh I should say. And now another demonstration of the oboe. This is the UT professor at, um, at the Butler School of Music d demonstrating the oboe sound. I'm so sorry. Let's go back. Yeah, so that was just another uh, example of the oboe. So you got to hear the Baroque style, and you got to hear Baroque oboe, excuse me, any modern oboe. Let's go ahead and move on to the next slide. So if you all have any questions about anything, please feel free to email us. Uh, you have Mr. J Mr. Jeff Heffler, who's the head of our department, our head of our band department. And you have me, myself, with Mr. Luis Corpus, and you have Mrs. Nancy English as well. Any of us would be more than happy to answer any of your questions, okay? Thank you so much, and I'll see you in band class. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.